the AI industry has more lobbyists in Washington and Brussels than the fossil fuel industry and the tobacco industry combined. And they also have a lot of control over what media we even get to consume through their social media algorithms and so on. Do you think they're meddling at that level? The tobacco industry didn't explicitly warn newspaper editors that they were going to be found dead if they wrote a certain article, but they spent so much money buying ads, you know, that it was mm -hmm. well known in the media that it was better not to piss off your advertisers. So there was a lot of self-censorship. I think we see an analogous thing now. If you look at, for example, professors like myself at MIT doing AI research, most of them, not me, are taking money from big tech in the way of grants, right? Don't mm -hmm. bite the hand that feeds you. People are consciously or subconsciously just holding back and biting their tongue. It is interesting that among the most concerned people in AI research are the very leading lights, the people who brought us the deep learning revolution, Jeffrey Hinton and, and Joshua Bingio, but they're people who don't need grants. I'm, I'm just saying this is kind of consistent with your hypothesis. Mm -hmm. Hinton even quit his job at Google just so that he had a financial loss for himself, you know, could speak out.